Hello everyone, my name is Camelsaurus and welcome to review number 44. Now today we are reviewing the Collecte Struthiomimus. Struthiomimus means ostrich mimic, as most of you will probably know. It was an omnivore, meaning it ate insects, small lizards, amphibians, mammals, and also plants. It was an, orni or an ornithomimosaur, and uh, ornitho yeah, an ornithomimosaur. It was a. Uh, its length was four point five meters. Its weight was a hundred and was it was a hundred kilograms, and it lived seventy eight to seventy four million years ago, which was in the late Cretaceous. And it lived in North America, and possibly Canada. I mean, it lived in North America and Canada and possibly the USA. So uh, yeah, this is a really nice model to have. Obviously, we don't get many. Ornithomimosaurs from any company, and it's nice that Collecte made three this year. I will not be picking up the Bejan Long, but I did get the Dinochirus and this guy. And I actually like this guy more than Dinochirus. I don't know why. He just uh, looks very natural. It's a very lovely. He looks more like a Struthiomimosaur. I mean, an Ornithomimosaur, to be honest. And uh, that's what I like about him. Because uh, Dinochirus looks a bit like a ther Therizinosaur. Uh, yeah. Anyway, however, it is an ornithomimosaur, so if we look at the feet here, we have these very nice, slim little legs here, very lovely coloured, and uh, see these bits down here are bald and have no feathers, but when we get up to this part of the leg, there are feathers. Now, let me move this up, so here we see the arms, we have a nice coat of wings here. Nice set of wings there. Very nice. These nice little hand. Now we have these downy kind of feathers again, which uh, looks like it's keeping it warm, not for display as much, like the Lithronax figure. We have this nice long neck, very accurate, which leads to this tiny, tiny little head. So tiny that I can't. Okay, there, there we go. So there's the nice tiny little head. It's really hard to capture the detail of this figure on this. There you go, looking forward. Now if we flip on the other side, it's pretty much the same details. Going down the tail, the Fidowney feathers continue and don't stop. Underneath the figure. Uh, I do not believe there is a cloaca present, but it would be around here. Uh, underneath we have a nice white colour until uh, here with the neck and it's all nice and brown which I do like it may be a bit bland but it looks quite natural and looks like the animal really would have had this color of feathers so uh, yeah and this nice gray bit of paint going down there I'll tell you one thing guys this is a very small figure don't buy this thinking you're gonna get something large let me for scale get the Carnegie Mammoth in here yeah that's the difference it's a very tiny figure so, uh, yeah guys, this is a shorter review, but still, it's a very small figure. Um, I'm going to give this figure an 8 out of 10, because I really like it, but I think... I don't really like the base, but obviously it's so small, you would need a base. And uh, I would like it to be a bit bigger, but apart from that guys, that's it, an 8 out of 10. Very good score. Until next time guys, this is Camelsaur signing out, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.